Hey guys, it is Monday and it's gonna be another order packaging day, of course. <laughs> I have a bunch of orders I did over the weekend that I need to run to Chit Chats, but I'm waiting for my FedEx delivery of my prints that I rush ordered. They were supposed to be here Friday, they never came, and now they're supposed to be here today before noon, allegedly. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I thought I would show you my live stream setup because I did manage to get it working and I did stream yesterday. So I have some USB extension cords here. The blue ones I just bought yesterday. I went out to a store and got some, although I should have got two long ones. For some reason, I thought the 15 foot cable was longer. Like I thought my existing two were each 10 feet. So I thought I needed a total of 20 feet. So it's a little short. The blue one ends here and then I have a USB hub and that is extending it the rest of the way. But it's sitting on this stack of boxes because if it just hangs, it pulls the tripod over. So up here I have the tripod with the webcam on it. It's facing the wall right now, but it was facing the room before. So you'd get a nice shot of the room. I might actually use that setup for a clip later because it just works so well. <laughs> I had a nice long stream yesterday packaging a bunch of orders. I did these ones in the wagon and these three bins right here. And that black bin over there is also full. Those weren't all from the live stream, just from the weekend in general. <laughs> Back to the stream setup thing. I have my actual mic in here. I just needed it. I did an audio test using the mic from the webcam and it was just, no, no. If you're gonna start a YouTube channel or a live stream, anything like that, and you wanna invest in one thing first, it's audio. I'm not saying I have perfect audio, I don't, but I just want it to be kind of good. <laughs> so that's why I have two sets of extension cords running in here. One is for the mic and one is for the webcam. Initially, I thought I could get away with just using the USB hub because I can plug several things into that. So I thought I just had to run one set of cables, but it just can't handle the mic and the webcam at the same time. Like I, I could only have one or the other, which is dumb because it's a hub. It's supposed to be able to handle that. Maybe it's the cable's fault, I don't know. I got it working eventually after running to the store. I may or may not need that again for Wednesday stream. It depends if I'm done all the orders or not. I probably will not quite be done. I'll probably be doing the final ones on Wednesday because I'm about 550 orders in and there are over a thousand. There's, last I checked last night, there was 1,019 orders. So yeah, I'm more than halfway, but just barely more than halfway. So there's no way I'm gonna get through another 500 orders in the next two days. So Wednesday stream, probably more of this. <laughs> you guys, the package came. Woo! I was getting nervous because I took out the trash and I noticed that the street is closed. It's only a small stretch. So really they could park at the building, like one building over, or they could park in the back alley. But I was still like, oh, are they gonna do that? Cause some, some drivers just say, oh, road was closed, can't deliver. But thank God he parked in the back and came around. I was like, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, let me dump out the packing peanuts first. <laughs> I just dump them in the sink because they're the kind made with cornstarch that can be rinsed down the drain. You can even eat them. I tried one. It's kind of plain tasting, but you know, it's edible. <laughs> okay, a lovely stack of newt prints. I'm gonna keep those separate for now because I have to sign them all. And then we have bakery. Beautiful, beautiful. I love the hollow shard effect. Woohoo. Good, good, good. Okay. I will sign those, but I need to run to chit chats. So I'm going to do that right away. Okay. I'm back from chit chats. Now I got to sign prints. I was just thinking about my tissue paper situation with the shop. And what if instead of the tissue paper, I just do another either glassine bag like this or just a paper bag because these can stay in here and then they can all go in a larger bag and that bag can be put into the box the same way the tissue paper is but it's a bag because the way to the tissue paper currently wow i just happened to have this example here i was like oh this is perfect <laughs> it's open on the sides so when i put it in the box i take down the sides but stuff can still kind of slip around what if i just had another little bag i put everything in instead and it just sat in there if it's still loose i could still tape it down i could do the the glue runner on the bottom or something to just hold it to the side of the box 
there are many options but yeah i was just thinking about that because i could maybe get bags with a cute pattern on them it's probably going to cost more than the tissue paper no matter what but it, it could be cute no yawning no yawning allowed i gotta invert the direction of the blinds almost at least when i sit it's bad up here not so bad when i sit it's like direct line of sun <laughs> invert direction oh that's so much better so thick so durable so nice i want to try some new product types like i think a little pad of stationery would be cute possibly washi tape uh, acrylic charms <laughs> there's so many things i want to try i won't have any of that for my next launch because i won't have time since that launch is going to be late November, so it'll be pins and prints again, but you know, maybe, maybe next year. I like to keep it small, just small, easy to ship items. Nothing too big. So update, I researched bags and I ordered some. I felt like there weren't many design options if you wanted to order in bulk, but I found some I really like. They're pink and they have gold foil hearts on them. They're really cute. I just thought I'd get that order in now because I ordered from AliExpress, so it could take a while to get here. So I just wanted to jump on that now. And now back to signing prints. I need to wear sunglasses in here. Jesus. We have a noisy little bab here. I gave you tons of pets. I gave you tons of pets. that I could stay Wish for this moment to never go away But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light later now still packaging Christian's home from work now and so we just kind of caught up on upcoming things to do stuff about this weekend's party stuff about an upcoming wedding we're going to all kinds of stuff we went and looked to see what we had left for pirate accessories because the party this weekend's pirate themed and Christian has dressed up as a pirate before for this murder mystery thing so he had some pirate stuff and I found my bandana. I was hoping I still had this red bandana. I did. Woohoo. I need more, but you know, I really wanted that. Will I wear it though? I don't know. It depends what else I find <laughs> for pirate stuff. I'm gonna have to do some research, see what I want for an outfit, what I want to do for decorations. So it's my party. It's Jacob and I's birthday party and I'm hosting it. So it'll be fun figuring out some of that stuff. I do have chocolate coins, but I want to buy more. And I'm going to get a couple bottles of rum just for anyone to have. I'm going to pick ones that look really piratey. <laughs> we kind of have some pirate stuff in the living room already because, well, the living room is kind of adventure themed. Like we have a map on the wall. There's a globe in there. There is a hot toys figure of Captain Jack Sparrow. There's a little ship in a bottle, a BB one, and then a model ship that's maybe this big. And there's an empty bottle of rum that looks like pirate rum yeah i don't know we have it's kind of semi-pirate themed already in there <laughs> then there's a bunch of beauty and the beast stuff which i don't know <laughs> doesn't like visually it goes well together but it's kind of not really pirate themed it was funny because when we were downstairs looking at the costume stuff we had i saw these tinkerbell wings down there and i was like oh christian you be hook and i'll be tinkerbell does that count as tinkerbell count for <laughs> pirate outfit Anyway, so yeah, we chatted, then I fed the cats because 
they're on a new feeding schedule. What it used to be is Christian would feed them their wet food in the morning and then their dry food would just be out all the time because we have one of those feeders where it's like a reservoir of food and then a certain amount just like as they eat it more comes out. Not one of those timed ones that dispenses a specific amount but just a regular old fashioned one. So instead now I give them a set amount in the evening. So they have their morning wet food and then they have their evening dry food. So Christian still does that morning feeding and then I do the evening feeding because little mush mush has a bit of extra mush. It's gonna take some trial and error though, figuring out the amounts of food because the way it is right now, they don't eat all their morning food right away but they also don't eat all their evening food right away. So I don't know if I'm giving them too much. Like they still eat all of it within a 24 hour period but I feel like they're eating it too slowly. So maybe they're still getting too much, I don't know. What's mostly tricky though is Midna will eat more than Kiki still because Kiki just eats less. Like she's smaller, she's not as into the food as Midna is. So like in the morning, she has her plate of chunks in gravy and she'll lick up the gravy, eat a few chunks and that's it. And then Midna tries to go after Kiki's share. And so we try to keep it separated, but Kiki doesn't want more of that food till like the afternoon and even then she's still not going to eat it all. So Midna's still getting more food than Kiki because even if we lock Kiki in a room with her food alone she won't eat all of it so <sighs> it's a struggle when you have a normal weight cat and an overweight cat. <laughs> if they were both fat this would be easier <laughs> or if they're both skinny then that would be even easier. <laughs> so there might be some adjustments over time but they've been on this eating schedule for just over a week. It was, we started it last Sunday, so today's Monday, so eight days. And honestly, probably should have made changes way sooner because Midna's been chub for a long time. Also later tonight, Christian and I are gonna clean up the kitchen because there are just so many dishes in there. It's actually gotten embarrassingly ridiculous in there. <laughs> Cause not this weekend that just passed, but the one before that we had people over. That was the night where everyone was folding boxes and all that. And that was probably the most people we've ever had at this house at one time ever. And so there was a pretty big mess and Christian cleaned up most of it the next day. Like he tidied up, like, threw out garbage and put bottles and cans into bags and put all the dishes by the sink. But we never actually went and washed the dishes. And I feel like I take most of the blame for this because he did a bunch of cleaning and I did none. <laughs> I did a little bit earlier today, but not a whole lot. Pretty much just gathered a few more bottles and cans that have since emptied and brought all those out to the curb. There's three bags of bottles and cans. And then I also took the garbage out. That was it. Cause I was like, okay, I need to get back to packaging. And he was also super busy last week. Like I was doing store stuff, like prepping for the store and then the store launched Wednesday. And then he was working extra hours too because he had this weird split shift thing going on where he would do his work at work, but then come home and work from home too. So he was working long hours and both just, ugh. We were both really busy. So we're gonna finally clean stuff up tonight. For now, I'm gonna keep packaging orders. I've got a live stream going. I'm watching Supreme Arcanines. He does lots of live streams on YouTube of shiny hunting. And I've been very invested in his binacle hunt. <laughs> and this is the last time he's streaming it till he switches over to some Halloween hunts. So I'm like, come on, show yourself tonight. It's probably not gonna happen, but you know, we can all hope. I just wanna shiny hunt so bad in Pokemon, you guys. <laughs> I'm just living vicariously through streamers, but it just also makes me want to shiny hunt that much harder. Soon, soon. <laughs> For those of you following the game streams, I don't know if I'm going to continue on with Fire Emblem. I've streamed it twice, but I just don't know if I'm going to have time to finish it because I have the shiny hunting itch. There's also Link's Awakening, which I haven't touched at all since it came out. I haven't even purchased it yet. I just, ugh. And then Pokemon Sword and Shield are coming out soon-ish. <laughs> Like, I might just have to ditch Fire Emblem, and I'm probably not even going to start Link's Awakening, like, maybe someday. I also want to replay Breath of the Wild before Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. I really would like to replay Super Mario Odyssey. I got all the moons in that game, and kind of want to restart. <laughs> and now that I only do the game streams, wait, what the heck? I just packaged the same order twice. <laughs> now that I don't do the game streams as often as I used to, I don't get in as much gaming. 
So it takes me a lot longer to get through games and stuff. Although once Pokemon Sword and Shield come out, I'm gonna be streaming that like every day for a week or something. <laughs> I wanna shiny hunt my starter. So I'm not even gonna get to play the game till I get my shiny. And that'll be a full odds hunt because that's right at the beginning of the game. So <laughs> hopefully I can get that shiny within a few days and then I can actually start playing it. <laughs> and I made some food just chilled for a little bit took a little break and yeah I've been back at it for a little while now and Shopify is down at first it was just being super slow and now it's totally down like it keeps saying 504 gateway timeout and I looked on Twitter to see if anyone else was struggling to access Shopify and sure enough other people are saying the same error so I think it's just down right now that's probably a sign I should stop packaging for the night, but I don't, I don't know, I have, like, I don't know, I just took my break, you know, I'm, I'm good to keep going. I've only done maybe 20 orders since the break, so I'm like, mm. <laughs> What I think I'll do, though, is cut some more tissue paper. I changed my mind. The tiredness just hit me, so I'm gonna go to bed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. <laughs> Wait, there's another one. Oh. <laughs> is this a little potato? Is this a patat? Is this a baby patat? Oh, it does. It says right here on the tag, baby potato, baby potato. <laughs> the string limbs are just so good.